Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. This morning when I woke up, I wasn't surprised to see the stories on uh, CM Punk's status for Monday Night Raw in Chicago. I, I think that basically with this being Friday and it being Monday, uh, very, very soon, I think that every day we're going to see an update on this story with people giving their uh, tips and thoughts about what's going on. I think honestly when it comes down to it, I know that Vince McMahon has been trying to call... Um, CM Punk, through all the stories that I've, that I've read and all the stories that I've seen and heard, I know uh, Triple H has said he's going to stay out of this and sort of let this be uh, Vince's battle, uh, that he's going to try and win, and some people think that Triple H is, is kind of playing the game that, um, you know, he's slighted uh, because Punk is upset that he was going to have a fight with him, and it's sort of disrespectful uh, to, to the business, to Triple H, and to, you know, just... You know, that somebody would walk out uh, because, you know, they're going to fight you because everybody's going to point the finger that CM Punk didn't want to be there because he was facing, you know, Triple H. But I'm pointing at CM Punk right now. Uh, basically, honestly, in my opinion, the one person that could have talked to CM Punk, and I don't even know if it went down. You know, uh, you know, Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin talks a lot of shit on his podcast about a whole bunch of different things. Some things he makes very public about his life. Some things he, he you know, he keeps to himself. But, you know, we've heard um, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. We've heard him talk on his podcast. We've heard him talk on JR's podcast. We've heard him talk about Jericho, Jericho's podcast. All about the same topic. About what he thinks about what's going on in WB right now. What's going on with CM Punk. And he's very adamant that, that he believes that he thinks thinks that a Punk is probably making a big mistake right now. You know, basically, you know, he, he talks about his own talk, time with WWE when he walked out in 2002. And he said the day he walked out, the checks, you know, stopped rolling in. It didn't matter how many WWE t-shirts they sold. It doesn't matter, you know, how many uh, sweatshirts that uh, Justin Subryan buys. Basically, even with this big network going on right now, you know, they're, they're showing CM Punk on there all the time. And, you know, Punk, because he's in breach of contract, isn't making any money off of that. You know, we, we saw that Austin was at UFC. We saw that Punk was on UFC. I never could really tell, uh, you know, where around the ring they were. But you damn well know that, you know, anywhere in that octagon, you look across the ring, you're going to tell that that's CM Punk sitting there. And you're going to be able to see if you're sitting on CM Punk's shoes, you sit across the way, that, you know, there's Uriah Faber and there's, you know, fucking uh, Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there's no way in my mind that uh, one way or another, sometime that night in Vegas, whether backstage, whether in a hotel room, somewhere along the way, Stone Cold Steve Austin passed his little bits of knowledge on to, to, to CM Punk about, you know, hey, you know, just, just finish out your deal, do things the right way, you know, if you want to ride off into the sunset after your deal's done, ride off into the sunset, but basically, you know, you're you're hurting your future, you know, by being in breach of contract, because if you never go back in your, in your, in your, vo in your deal voids, you're never going to get any amount of royalties from WWE. And I mean, that's if CM Punk does want to leave right now and right off into the sunset with as big as this network is going to be, the, the sailing of DVDs, uh, T-shirts, and everything along the way, you know, Punk could honestly live forever uh, off of that money and do whatever he wants to do that's in his, uh, you know, his deal. If he wants to go out and do the public speaking where... Um, you know, he tells stories and things like that. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think that fits CM Punk. Maybe he can grow into that and do some sort of, a, you know, comedy shows. But to me, honestly, I don't see him as a people, you know, t that wants to be with the people. He doesn't want to be looked at. He's been referred to, you know, as people that they go up to and ask him for autographs and pictures. That he's not a zoo animal and that, you know, he doesn't want to be poked and prodded. I think that maybe he could do something in, in the line with UFC where he's just, just sort of a, uh, an analysis that, that's out there on certain shows or maybe a, a backstage commentator or just some guy that does things some things for their network where he just you know adds his thoughts about what's going down. You know, he's been a big fan of mixed martial arts and a big jiu-jitsu guy for a real, real long time. Uh, that is something that he could do. But you always got to wonder, you know, if Vince McMahon has that one card up his sleeve, ready to play, and if CM Punk really is going to show up on Monday Night Raw. I honestly would bet against it. The people of Chicago, I don't think, are looking at this the right way. I think they, they bought these tickets thinking that CM Punk was going to be there, and he is the hometown guy. Honestly, in my opinion, we have heard CM Punk chants along the way, but I don't think we're going to hear anything along the lines of what we heard, uh, basically, um, uh, in Chicago, any of the past years that he's been there. And this Monday's going to be nothing like it. I mean, they're going to, you know, I wouldn't be 
surprised that they boo almost anything and everything that they do out there. There is a chance that they, they might even turn against Daniel Bryan because they see that Daniel Bryan's moving in on the on the spot that CM Punk once had. In my opinion, when I look at this whole situation, it's CM Punk that walked out on the fans. It's CM Punk that walked out on the WWE. It's CM Punk is the guy that said he didn't want to be on TV or do anything anymore. He just wants to sit you know, and watch UFC, sit on his couch and watch TV all day, and ride his bicycle around with Cole Cabana. And if that's what he wants to do the rest of his life, that's what he wants to do with the rest of his life. There's nothing I can do, or you can do, I don't think that, you know, he gets a, a smile or a laugh or anything, you know, I don't even think he's watching Raw. I would bet money that, that if you asked him, he would say he hasn't watched Raw, he hasn't watched SmackDown, he hasn't watched the pay-per-view, he hasn't watched any amount of wrestling since he's left. I, I you know, I'm sure word gets back to him uh, by, you know, AJ or, you know, just friends or, you know, comments along the way. Maybe he looks at his Twitter even though he's not tweeting and, um, you know, just sees that, you know, people are chanting that. He's always said that, you know, when he leaves, he, he leaves. He's not like going to be the Ric Flair, the Stone Cold Steve Austin or Hulk Hogan hanging around uh, doing those one or two shows along the way to, you know, put some money in his pocket and put some smiles on people's faces. You know, he's he, he's done everything there is to do in wrestling. Um, I honestly don't think we've seen the last of CM Punk, but I think that if I had the money to put on the table, I would bet it all that we don't see Punk on Monday. It just, they've already moved Daniel Bryan into the spot um, to fight Triple H. You know, he's already made the challenge. But although with the SmackDown stuff, I might pull a little bit of that stuff back with them sort of turning Batista along the way. But I think they might be doing something special with Batista that they've done before, as, I, as I've seen. They have to go back to WrestleMania 12, and I'm hoping that once I see it tonight, I'll be able to set it. But that's the one thing that's in my mind that makes me think about what's going down. But um, we'll have to see. You know, WrestleMania 30 is pretty well set in stone. You know, what would they do if CM Punk came back? Honestly, I think they had the chance if they would have turned Punk heel to go against Daniel Bryan. That would have been a great match for the ages. Something that a lot of people have been really hoping they would see at WrestleMania for a long, long time. But, uh, hey, we'll have to find out. Monday's not that far away. It's Friday. Friday. I was going to sing the song. It just came to me, but then I was like, nah, I don't really feel it. But peace out.